a NFT staking smart contract, it's not complete until we enable multi-vault functionality. Yes, multiple staking vaults to allocate individual NFT collections to be staked by our end users. Yes, let's talk about it. I hope you liked this video. I would like to also announce that I have an Ethereum wallet in which you can send your donations to help support my channel so I can keep doing this content for you guys. If you find my content very useful, any donations will help. Thank you so much. There you go. net to deatheth That's my wallet app. Okay, let's do a quick video, very simple, very straightforward video on how can we accomplish a multi-vault NFT staking smart contract. Okay, so what I ended up doing for this presentation, I want to have a logical view of how we get that NFT smart contract associated to a particular vault. The current NFT staking smart contract that you are familiar with based on the previous videos, it only allows a single vault, right? So one NFT collection, one token reward attached to it, and then users can just stake and earn uh, staking tokens or passive income based on their staking rewards, right? So now by allowing multi-vault functionality, and I call this multi-vault, multi-pool or staking pools, those are terms that we can uh, use to reference a smart contract that allows to create many pools or many staking vaults in which we can associate specific smart contracts to each one. So one of the benefits that I can have with a multi-vault NFT staking smart contract is that I just need to only create one single smart contract, or in this case, deploy a single smart contract, but then I can go back into that smart contract and keep adding vault. So I don't need to deploy a smart contract per vault. I just deploy a single smart contract and then I use the same smart contract and just keep invoking a function that I created called add vaults. I basically just call the function and specify the collection um, smart contract address the token address for that vault, and this will be the token that we will issue as a staking rewards to our NFT holders, right? So we'll have a token associated, right? And we'll have the particular NFT collection, right? So we'll have those uh, pointers, right? So the moment we deploy this particular vault, right? It's associating this particular NFT collection and this particular staking token. That's what you currently have on the previous smart contract collection. You have a token and that is associated to a particular vault, but there's no capabilities of adding future vaults, right? Now with this same smart contract, I can go again, you know, let's say you decided to deploy a different NFT collection, like you know, any, any new NFT collection. And you want to also allow this uh, staking capability of on this new NFT collection smart contract, then with this multi-vault NFT staking smart contract, I can just create a new vault and associate that vault to the NFT collection. So I don't need to create a brand new staking contract just for this collection. I just use the same one. What other benefits do we have with this? On our Web3, and let's say you develop or design a Web3 UI front end for your staking pool, so then users can log into that website or access the website and then stake their tokens or their NFTs. With a multi-vault NFT staking smart contract that I don't need to like create functions or create call objects in React.js per, per staking contract, I just have a single smart contract, but then I have a loop and then I can grab each vault and associate each vault to the same call. The only difference will be that I will be associating or making the call to the pool ID. In this case, the ID of the collection that I want to create that staking dashboard and where users deposit their tokens, right? So the vault ID, this is literally me configuring a name uh, for that reference. So every time that you deploy a vault, it's going to allocate a number and it starts with zero. Zero will be the first number. So the moment you allocate a vault or you create a vault, allocates 
the number zero as the first one and then it continues one, two, three, four, and so forth, right? So what we need to do in this staking smart contract, and you're going to see that on the next video, I am going to add that functionality to the existing staking smart contract. What you're going to see is that when we deploy the new smart contract, I am not going to ask for a collection address nor a token, reward token smart contract, right? I am just going to allow this to be deployed and then you can start adding your vaults, okay? You're gonna see that on the next video. What other benefits do we have? Let's say I deployed in this scenario, I have, you know, NFT collection number one, NFT collection number two, and those are the smart contracts for my NFT collections. I want to have, you know, one staking pool, you know, with different rewards, I can do that. So let's say this particular collection has a reward of, and I can write it right here. So let's say that this collection has a reward of, I don't know, uh, a single N to the R token per block. So let's say this particular collection allows the user to earn a single token every time that we have a, uh, a block process on the blockchain. So every time that there's a block timestamp, I am going to allocate one or I'm going to issue one reward token to a an NFT holder. So let's say NFT or NFT one or token ID number one, it's allocated into collection one, then it, this then this collection will issue or this vault will issue a single token reward per NFT state. Now this is the cool part of it. You can design a staking DAP or Web3 application that will issue a different reward for this. So let's say if someone bought a an NFT from collection two, your staking reward benefits are different from someone that bought an NFT from collection one. Mm, I know you like that, right? So let's say instead users from, you know, users or buyers from collection number two, they are awarded two and to the R, or let's say, let's make it different. Let's say 10 and to the R tokens per block. So if you bought an NFT from collection one, your staking rewards are one token per block. However, if you bought an NFT from collection two, your staking rewards are 10 tokens per block. This is amazing because now I can not only allow staking or ERC, ERC token rewards on multiple vaults, I can actually allocate different reward calculations per vault. So that's even more scalable, right? It gives you more power to your staking um, application, right? And so forth, let's go to uh, collection number three. So let's say I got another NFT collection, right? And this will be deploy a different smart contract. Then I create a vault for that, right? So we got vault number PID2. Remember the first vault is vault zero, and then I keep going up, right? But now I am referencing collection three smart contract address to this vault. I am also issuing, oh, by the way, if you can see, I don't need to create different ERC20 smart contracts for vault. I am using my same staking rewards token and associating that to different vaults. So I just have one token reward contract, ERC20 smart contract, but I am using it across all my vaults. So they are all going to call the same smart contract and request the tokens. So I don't need to like make a token reward per contract, which is which is awesome. So they, you know, they are all getting the same tokens. The only difference is whoever uh, staked a token from a particular vault gets a different reward. So what does this to the collection? It makes it more valuable because if you bought a collection from, from pool number one, then you only get one token. And maybe the NFT is cheaper here than here. This is a more expensive or priced uh, NFT, but it gives you more rewards. I'm just making scenarios here. Let's say you call this uh, the bronze tier, bronze rewards. Now we have bronze reward. And let's say whoever bought an NFT from collection number two has silver rewards and what are server rewards you know 10 tokens per block so that gives you more uh, flexibility or more scalability on your contract and finally we got the gold rewards so let's say someone bought from nft number three 
collection number three, then you get more gold rewards. So let's say you get more, uh, more benefits from this particular collection. And now let's say this collection issues more rewards. Let's say you get 20 and to the R token per block per NFT. So I also have to specify that, right? So you got per block per NFT staked. So that's literally the calculation, right? So this is the math. You know, you get 10 tokens per block process per NFT. So, you know, you got NF one NFT is one NFT. So it's 10 times each block. So you get, I don't know, 300 blocks a day. Let's say it's more than that. So if you have one NFT and you got 10 tokens per block and there are 300 blocks, then it's 300 times 10, which is like 3000, right? If you have one token per block per NFT here, then you got 300 tokens, right? So that will be the staking reward. And, and you, you see what I'm going, right? If you have 20 token rewards per block per NFT, then you have a total reward per day of uh, 6,000 tokens, right? Because it's 300 times 20, it's 6,000 to total, total reward. If you have, let's go back here. If you have this particular reward, then the calculation will give the staker a 300 token total reward per day and so forth. And you, you see where I'm going, right? And if you are staking from this pool, then you only have, you know, 300 total reward. You see where I'm going, right? So that's the math. So by doing this type of staking smart contract, you're scaling the capabilities. That's not all. Let's say you deploy the, this uh, particular smart contract and that smart contract will have a different benefit than those two smart contracts. So let's say this um, NFT smart contract uh, provides the end user this particular reward, you know, one token per block per NFT. And then this smart contract, you know, the collection number two provides this particular reward. And finally, the third smart contract gives you this reward, right? But let's say you want to change the game a little bit. Let me go ahead and clean all this, right? Let's say the third smart contract, however, it's different. Let's say that third smart contract, I want it to behave differently. I don't want to issue holders of collection number three. I don't want to issue stake and rewards to this particular smart contract, the same token that collection one and two are 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 receiving the stakers right because this is a more premium a more prized nft i decided to deploy a different erc20 smart contract right so let's say this will be another erc20 smart contract and we are going to call this n to the r plus so the token has even more value but only NFT holders from collection three can access this particular staking reward. You can do that. So what we can do is from this new ERC20 smart contract, I can associate that to this particular vault. And that's how I can start issuing tokens from a different ERC20 smart contract. So in this case, I am not going to issue the same tokens uh, from collection one and two two holders in collection three. They will get a different token that has more value. I'm just giving you an example right here. That's that's another capability with a multi-vault functionality is that I can now issue different ERC-20 token. Mm. And those tokens can be used to buy something that users from collection one and collection two are not allowed to buy. They have access to more reward. And I'm just giving you an example here by just allowing this to be dynamically updated in the smart contract, I can deploy a different token reward mechanism to holders of this particular NFT collection. So now I have a single staking smart contract, but I have different vaults and each vault can have its own token reward program as well as a different token smart contract. So I am leveraging the same staking reward smart contract to collection one and collection two, but not for collection three, because I want to give them an even better token or, or more benefits 
because I don't know, this NFT is more expensive or so forth. So you get the idea. You can do all kinds of amazing things with multi-fault NFT staking. Alrighty, I know you like that. You like that. And you are going to like even more the next video. On the next video, we're going to enable this on the existing staking smart contract. We are about to take our NFT staking smart contract to the next level. On the next video, we are going to add a multi vault functionality. And now the smart contract will enable multi NFT collection staking capabilities. So we're not only allowing a single staking pool on the smart contract. We are now adding multi vault staking capabilities. That sounds amazing, right? Alrighty. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.